Welcome back to Boater Plays Something. We are playing The Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds was originally streamed on The Citadel over at Insane Games TV. Be sure to go to the description to check out that link. I'm no longer a streamer on the channel, but I wanted to make sure that everything still came out. As of right now, in January 2024, we're about two years since the footage was originally recorded, but I'm going to try to get everything out as fast as possible. So, without further ado, I'm Boater. Let's play something. Hup, 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 hup. If you start getting shot at, I'm just running for the ship. And I'm jumping off the railing, taking the quick way down. <laughs> oh, that would be death. This, um... This isn't control where I can just press a button and have a nice steady rate of descent. This isn't a game where I can pull a parachute on the way down. That'd be great though, just just jumping for it. I kind of want to save and try it now that we have nice low uh, loading screens, nice short loading screens. Oh, for the good old days when you could simply ask a menial for refreshment. Ask a menial for refreshment, yes. Oh shit, yep, sure enough, I am shoot to kill. Out with it, you wretched contraption. Oh, hell. Okay, um, how do we get out of the city now? Reputation, the board. Yeah, over 50% angry. You are kill on sight to this faction. Okay, faction effects right down there. Okay. How? Nothing there. Nothing there. Uh, okay. Do we... That is down to the maintenance tunnels. Well, that's fine. We need to go this way anyway. Why was I going up the other way? Um... Let's see here. Need to be careful about seeing guards now. Or guards seeing us, rather. That episode from a few weeks ago was supposedly based on a real incident. Okay, we're good. There is a guard. No, that's not a guard. That's a janitor. Couple of whoop. Couple of guards there. Wouldn't it be selfish? Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Well, this chair keeps sinking. Ugh. Okay. I don't think there are any guards on the pad. If there are, there are enough crates and stuff that we can get around them. Got it. Heads down. Oh, okay, good. He's going to walk off. Excuse me. You know what? Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. Um... Uh, back to game view. I wonder if... Hey, you're still here! Oh, I don't... I don't need to pick your pocket. Pretend we're strangers. The board's always watching. If the board was always watching, they'd be coming to kill me right now. You don't need to know that. Oh, freaking go away. Good thing they aren't wise enough to impound my ship while I'm shoot to kill.
Hello, little mote of dust. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. I kind of don't care. You're there. You notice how our crew's a lot like that crime family? Oh my god, month. you've had this conversation before. Who has the book? I'm curious. Harvati's father. Aww. Aww. This photo was a gift from June Lay to commemorate her first date. An inscription reads, To my wildflower, thank you for an enchanting evening. Looking forward to many more. Unlocks the perk, Enchanted Evening, for Parvati. Wait a minute. Uh, like, she has a, a new perk? How did, what? Is it just, like, not show here? Okay. Wait, no, I saw it. Um, ba 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 ba. Parvati. Enchanted evening. Food and drink effectoration. Neat. Okay. Um, all right. Let's head back to Phineas. Oh, I bet they are. What? If you don't, you have a message ah. from Adjutant Sophia Akande. <sighs> no one Great. ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. That doesn't sound like me. Oh, you mean stumbling around the colony pretending that I know what I'm doing? I think you're being modest. I've been keeping up I don't even know the meaning of the Emerald word. Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewater, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. Mm, All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. This is all cabled and twisted. Hold on. I'm going to untwist my cable. Goes this way. Whee! That should do it. Much better. It's still a little twisty, but... I get it. You're well informed. Can we move this along, please? I have places to be and criminals to talk to. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Your people need better security. Anybody could have taken those chemicals after dying a couple times, I'm like I did. I'm not talk about stolen chemicals. I'm after something far more valuable. You can't have a date with Parvati! <laughs> Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. <laughs> Say no more, I'm in. Uh, the answer is no. We're done here, Ada. You are making a serious mistake. Yeah, it would be my third one of the day. This call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. You're making a serious mistake. When has that ever stopped me before? We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Consider yourself congratulated. Let's go. Okay, good. No one's waiting for me to tell me their life story on the way out. Oh, you should have taken her up on it and then just never done it. <laughs> Again, there is a speedrunning playthrough where you go is really, really stupid and just, like, make all the worst decisions, immediately turn in Phineas, and it's like a 15-minute speedrun. It's just a completely different game. The developers were like, that's a thing you could do, I guess. It's interesting to see developers react to speedruns. I've kept myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. Congrats, Ada. Good job on being able to recognize All your own accomplishments. I'll take as much as you can give me. You get 26 point whatever whatever percent. All 
Oh, okay, so the chemicals are nice, and I'll give them to you in a second, but the colony's kind of on the verge of collapse. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Yeah, it makes sense. I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page. Oh, but they're going to freeze all the workers in Halcyon, I guess. Oh, hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And yeah. And the plan to save all of us is to save himself? Yes. I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? You sound That's surprised. That's a goddamn escape clause. Yeah, you sound that surprised. Two things we don't have. Time and chemicals to revive the other settlers. Okay, well, I do have some chemicals. None of this was supposed to happen. I was supposed to revive the Hope's colonists. We were supposed to have enough time to solve the problem before we all starved. Uh, yes, this is Phineas Wells who revived us at the start, and this whole... The, the overriding quest line that we've been pursuing is to get the chemicals that he needs to revive everybody else. So I was able to find chemicals in the ministry. They were testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly, exactly what, what you I were doing. I mean, yes, what you were expecting out of the board. Well, these are all the chemicals I could get. If I took more, it would have killed the subjects. Oh, that's worse. Um, oh, so that's it. We're just going to give up. All the trouble I went through for nothing. Like, I'm sure you've been busy, but I'm going to act totally aggrieved here because I'm just thinking about myself. No, no, it wasn't. We have, well, let's see. We, we have at least some of the chemicals. We have your ship and we have you. Let us account for something. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. Streamers, podcasters. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. It's frustrating when a game anticipates how you're going to morally feel about a decision and position itself to punish you. I mean, that's more or less what I figured. Oh, we need to revive a whole ship full. Of course we would need all of it, but they're going to make it a gray decision. Like, I, I'm happy when a decision isn't fully black and white. You can do the good thing, but there being consequences. I mean, there is a way. It's not what you would call safe, but we could skip the hope end of the system. Merciful gibbering law, you're a genius. <gasps> we bring the That's the third time I've been called that in my life. Ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. So the hope's probably damaged. We'll have to root power from the unreliable. much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. 
you will use your own ship to power up the Hope skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. Experimental methods for killing noxious life forms are not covered under this unit's limited liability agreement. Well said, whatever you are. <laughs> You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then head to the bridge. Your navigational computer. It's a little late for that, Sam. I'll... Mm, do I have questions? No, I'll do it. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. Death sucks when games are like, oh, it's your decision, but it's the bad one! What's up, Dave? Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from Oblivion, then we have to take it. Okay, so I want to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? I guess. I'm not sure what questions I have. I mean, people aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2. Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. I like that little satisfied, huh. And just so we're clear, you know that skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. In fact, that speed run that I was talking about involves going to the Hope and then skipping it straight into the sun. Game over! Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you. And that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, bye. <gasps> Ooh, level up. Um, okay, our last level up, I think. And we're going to throw this into inspiration. So that we get, well, inspiration. We'll go with determination so that they get more of the effect from the inhaler, a.k.a. allies will heal more the few times that I actually use it. Guys, we might, f I think we're going to finish this game. To Whoa, it's, oh my gosh, it's already like quarter to 11. I'm going to see if we can finish this game tonight. Guys, I think we're going to finish with the Outer Worlds. I didn't realize we were that close to the end. Because there's definitely not enough game left for another full night of it, so... Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Takes on the no one. Welcome back, Captain. That wasn't a, a that dig at you. That was on me. Message from Lilia Hagen of Sublight. It's oh. you, Captain. Okay. Um. What does it say? Lilia praises your grit, guts, and moxie. Her only rebuke is an excess of moral fiber that threatens the species. Okay. My letter of referral. How thoughtful of her. I agree. Given her disposition, morality, and career path, the event. So of are we going to have to fight her at the hope? Was highly probable to be both unpleasant and dangerous. Okay. Um, hope. We have arrived at the hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Mm, tell me about the, the hope. hope is the groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. Hundreds of thousands. 
What was I doing? An early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? We're getting that. Due to reroute power from our okay, we got that. Me. We did that. Okay, cool. What's going to happen? Your calculations are even slightly off. You could crash the entire colony ship into Terra, too. It's fine. Or the sun. Okay. Let's do this. Parvati and Sam. Not every challenge needs to be solved with a gun. They can be handled through negotiation or subterfuge or a big hammer. Um, all right. Comms, uh, auxiliary power first, I think, yeah? And a big old restricted access thing. And, okay, so I guess we need to get off the landing pad first. Hope nobody notices our ship parked here. At this point, now that we're not in Byzantium... What? You know what? I don't care anymore. Ow. What is... Oh, I have... I'm taking continual damage from some weapon or another. Quincy Duncan! What do you got? Not much. Pick up all spilled crew members. Ow. That, that stuff hurts. Hope Bridge Keycard. Alright. Hope Auxiliary Power. Available functions. Patch. Root and Auxiliary Power source to supplement UDL002's reactor. Status. Power status report. Logs. You are carved logs. Recorded audio transmissions and or internal messages. Logs. Pre-launch roll call. Personnel of notable rank. Captain. Hunt Wilhelm. First mate. Hunt Donna. Navigation. Torega. Rezi. Chief Engineer. Nolda Frank. Medical Officer. Volkov. Alexi. Um, manual log, L01, Hunt W. Ten years. Longest trip Donna and I ever took was a week-long sojourn into the Silver Mountains. Even that set her on edge. She's a homebody. Always was. She packed so much food, we could have been stranded out there on those rocks for a month and probably would have been just fine. UDL sent us on a team-building seminar into the city once. They paid for everything. Donna still packed nutrient bars just in case the bus broke down. It's going to take this ship 10 years to reach Halcyon. An entire decade. It's a good thing UDL provided the rations, else she might have dumped our life savings into mixed nuts and freeze-dried meat. Oh, no. Automated audio transcript. Uh, transcript, R01. This is it, folks. Say goodbye to old Blue, eh? Yeah, if anyone wants a good riddance. Why so bitter, Resi? She's been a good home. Give me a spaceship any day of the week. Well, we'll see how you feel a year in. So, um, moment of silence? Should we make a toast? Anything? Feels weird leaving Earth in the rearview mirror. No. From now on, we only look forward. Well, that that sounds wonderful. Um, power status. UDL 02's reactor is in power safe mode. Only life support is powered. Maintenance. Uh, regularly scheduled maintenance. 22,000 days overdue for engine. Yeah, so lots of days overdue for everything. Pending work orders. Microwave short-circuited after some idiot left his fork on the plate. Microwave clock has stopped. Microwave is stuck in high power mode. Microwave has stopped working entirely. Hibernation storage status. All hibernation storage systems are functioning within intended parameters. Storage bay 5, 99% capacity. Storage bay 8, 92%. Storage bay 12, 76% capacity. Uh, let's patch in. Power is now being routed from the docking bay. Reactor is now in auxiliary power mode. That ought to do her, Captain. Okay. Next, we need to get to the comm system. Let's... Reload and do our final upgrade of everything. Um, repair. Repair everything that's equipped. Uh, tinker with our gun. Our gun. 
Well, I don't have the 24,000 bits to tinker that. Or that, or that. Never mind. Right, because I wasn't doing quests to get bits, was I? Hey, guess what? I'm not supposed to be here! What are you going to do about it? No, come on! Shoot him! Sam! Wait, was that shit parked here a moment ago? Right. Okay, cool. It's saved at the terminal. I assume that that means it's patched. Yes. Okay, reload. The workbench isn't going to do anything for us. Uh, try that again. Something's not wrong. Something's not right. Pegged in the forehead. You have a lot of hit points. Why do you have so many? Oh my god. That guy was doing a ton of damage from that far out. Good news, customer. All germs and contaminants have been neutralized. All right, now we're fine with our, um, oh, come on, with our reputation going down the tubes. Like, we're in open warfare against the bridge now. Good thing everybody on here has a key card for it, huh? Authorized, unauthorized access will result in immediate termination upon your arrival in Halcyon. Crew terminal, available entries, message exchange T778. Darling, I've just had a frightening epiphany. What's wrong? I just realized we're nearing our 50s when we arrive at Halcyon. Yes, but our Lucas, when they wake him up, he'll still be six. By the time he's out of schooling, we'll be nearly 60. I feel as though time's being stolen from me. Well, we'll work on the ship when he graduates. We'll see him again. I hope so, Will. Audio transcript 114. You gotta help me, Alexei. I'm gonna go mental. What's the problem? It's the food. Our rations? Oh, no. Um, You gotta help me, Alexei. I'm gonna go mental. What's the problem? It's the food. Are rations? Are you having digestive issues? No, no, I just... Uh, I hate borst, doctor. I hate it. I can't spend the next ten years eating it. I thought you were having an actual medical problem, Frank. I do. It's disgusting. Get back to your post. You're wasting my time. <sighs> Come on, there's got to be something you can prescribe. You'll get used to it or you'll starve. Up to you. Uh -huh. All right, a little too much R trailing there, but not, not bad for just diving into it. Uh, let's see here. We've got... Good, good. And I like that this is recognizably... You know, the same layout as the Groundbreaker. Like, this is where they had their, you know, security terminal and all that. You can just tell what's a fish, what's original and what's been repurposed for use. Yeah, like... System unexpected. Like, this is yeah, as it was, and not, you know, the thoroughfare. Alright, screw it. Okay, I gotta play carefully. These things are hitting hard all of us. Jesus! Where did you come from? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Energy Anubis, for the follow. These things are hitting hard all of a sudden. What is going on? I wasn't having nearly this much problem. But, like, I hit level 9, 
All right, sorry, I, had, I went from level 28 to 29. They all went from 18 to 39. Muting volume now. You know what? I'm going to get in a firefight, so let's just... Guys, please... No! Stop shooting me! I'm try I was trying to get them to use their special abilities on stuff, like this, and it just wasn't happening. Also, I don't know how much heavy ammo we're going to be picking up along the way, so... Alright, um... Ow. Why am I- WHAT AM I STUCK ON?! God damn! Come on, show me your juicy center! I don't want to just spray and pray on this because I only have so much ammo and apparently everything's going to tank so much of it. Oh, I just realized I haven't been healed yet. God, yeah, we're burning through ammo. These things all use energy cells and not, like, proper heavy ammo. Okay, um... Hope comms, probably back there. I realize there's another door over here that... I'm gonna double check. You, that's not heavy ammo. Same thing over here. Right, we... Okay, we, we checked all this before, but then we died. So we get three ammo from that. Yeah, that's... Read, read the other one. Just, I don't think we get, like, XP for it or anything, but... Just for the sake of completion. Um, okay. Check these doors up here. Alright, that's got some stuff. What's on this terminal? Unauthorized access. Automated audio transcript 1268. Uh, look, Captain, this is what I'm talking about. We're slowing down. Resi, pretend for a second that when I look at your screen, all I see is unintelligible math. Okay, okay. <sighs> see this line? That's us. This one, that's where we should be. This one, that's where we're going. We're off course, and I think it's because we're... What? What the hell was that? I don't... Will! 
Will, what's going on down there, Frank? I was going to ask you the same damn thing. The engine's just braced. Who hit the brakes? Audio transcript 1271. <sighs> Go ahead, Frank. Right. So as some of you may know, the ship dropped out of faster than light travel. We got to spin up the skip drive again. Eh, uh, why are we talking instead of doing? It ain't that simple, you hull headed Frank. Sorry, just... If I could just hit a button and skip us back to speed, I would, but Nav's got to plot a new course. Yes, dropping to sublight speeds means we're quite a ways off course. The navigational computer will be helpful, but I'll take... But it'll take... Well, I don't know how long it'll take. I have to get this right. Any errors when we can fly through a planet or a star? Plus, we'll need to count up the fuel reserves. If we try to skip without the energy we need, we'll... <sighs> Shit, I'm not sure. We might just explode. Rather not explode. What if we don't have enough fuel? Then we fly slow. And how long will this take? I don't know yet. I need to run the numbers. But uh, we'll deal with that problem when it comes. For now, Frank, see to the fuel. Rezzy, assume he can get us back to skip space and plot a course. Let's go! No, damn it. Stop. Manual log, 2168. W. Hunt. The UDL mantra has always been... Sorry, I was I was wondering if, since this predates the board doing a ton of stuff, if the tagline at the top would be a little more sane. It's not. The UDL mantra has always been prevention. If you don't have problems, you don't need a plan for dealing with them. Before I was assigned to this ridiculous journey, I ran budgets for our galas. How much does it take to staff an ocean liner? How much food do we need? I always put safety precautions, lifeboats, sick kits, flares, whatever I could think of, in a separate category from the rest of the budget. In my gut, I knew I should plan for them. I think I got that from Donna. But my boss always redacted them. Why spend money on emergency supplies when we can spend money on not having an emergency in the first place? Hire a better crew. Build the ship out of better materials. Find a better accountant. From pleasure cruisers to colony ships, I guess nothing changes. They gave us ten years of rations and we've used nine of it. Resi is saying it's going to take us 26 years to get to Halcyon if we can't spin up the skip drive. Any way I carve this up, somebody's going to starve. 2190 F. Nolda. I want this on record. We're fucked and it ain't because of the equipment. Skip drive is toast. I don't know what the hell happened, but it ain't even getting to prelim cyclo boosters. Captain says we got food for a year. Res says it's going to take 26 to get there on STL. Back home, I saw folks lose their minds going hungry for a week. A week? We ain't going to last a bloody month if we don't figure something out. Is this thing still... <sighs> I mean, it's not an incredibly bad philosophy. Definitely flawed, but also hire better crew, build the ship out of better materials. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's a good idea, but the budget for doing something properly safe should account for both. Oh my god, I finally got a UDL identity cartridge. Okay. Great work. Not that it matters, because I'm sh fire on sight for them anyway. Alright, nothing came out on that one, so we're fine. Energy cell. Come on, I want heavy ammo. There's heavy ammo. Message exchange 1022. Hey, Rez. Yeah? Bored. Up for around the torts? Yeah, but I got bridge duty. I'll come up. Bust me in? Sure, don't cheat this time. Listen, I'm not cheating if you don't get caught. It's not cheating if you don't get caught. I'm expecting the, de the deck all the same. Okay, you know what? I'll find Alexi and play with him instead. No! Audio transcript. Oh, oh my... F oh, oh my fuck. Shh. Sorry. It's hard to be quiet. Well, try. If we get picked up by the computer, we're on record forever. Is that so bad? I've got someone waiting for me in the pods, Alexi. This is a one-trip thing. Ah. Gotcha. Fun. Hey! More Hope Bridge key cards. Eh, eh. Another UDL identity cartridge. They just really wanted to make sure I had the option to sneak after I've already shot the place up. Uh, 
Okay. What? Let's let's look around. I see where we gotta go. Oh, God, there's a mama sprat. That used more ammo than I could have afforded. Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? You make it dirty, Sam cleans it up. Oh, I'm, I excel at making things dirty, Sam. Okay. This. This is where Wells came to get me right at the start of the game. I don't know where this goes. Let's hold off on that. I'm guessing we're going to go somewhere with that after this. Oh, maybe this is where Wells brought me. Um, status. Uh, current pod count, 99.99. Because one of us was used. Oh, oh they're so cute. Yeah, sprats are adorable. Logs, pod removal, CBS 525. Cold storage pod CB5524. Oh, uh, I read it wrong, apparently. Occupant, Stacy. Removed by unknown crew member. CB5524. Yep, okay. F automated audio transcript. 2793 unknown crew members. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever. Just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. A line that Phineas said right at the start. Okay, so this is where he yeah, came to get us. I mean, seeing this place could have... Yeah, I was sleeping for that, so, you know, it's fine. Um, is there anything else back out here? Nope, this all kind of ends. Oh, what's all this? Heavy ammo! Hooray! Okay, so the elevator is the only thing that, uh, we haven't been through. But let's do the comp room first. Another terminal. Another bridge key card. Oh, the elevator probably goes to the bridge. Uh, manual log 4127, Arturega. Dear Diary, everyone's running around trying to figure out how we're going to eat, but none of it means anything if I can't keep us on course. It's hell. Charting 26 years of travel through space is... I don't know if I can handle it. It's so much pressure, so many lives. If I get one thing wrong, one smudge decimal point, one off-by-one miscalculation, we could crash into an asteroid. I keep thinking of the colonists. They just never wake up. Lucky them. Audio transcript 2104. I've called you all here because the numbers on our rations are off. Off? What do you mean off? We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing, darling. Not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. They must have stashed it somewhere. So? Someone could have brought some from Earth. If they did, we need to include it in our rationing, Frank. Every bit of food on this ship is to be split among us all. It's theirs. It isn't yours to take. This isn't about ownership. This is about survival. We're going to run out eventually, and the longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this shit out. All right, all right. I want everyone to interrogate their crew. Find whoever's not eating their share and bring them forward. Manual log, de-hunt. Perhaps there's hope yet. Mommy used to have such a garden. I grew up under tomatoes and lemons and limes. When we left Earth, she was so kind as to share a sample of seeds with me so that wherever we end up, I might start my own garden. Now, buds grow in hydroponics. This may not be a backyard, but it's something. I remember you every day, Mamoshka. Now more than ever. Audio transcript 2130. Law helped me. It worked. I'm going to hell, but it worked. How the fuck do I break the news to the captain? Message exchange 2810. Cap, I wanted this on record. Sick of the witch hunt. It's me. I haven't been eating my rations. Why? We don't need it. Don't mind feeling hungry. Well, I need my chief engineer with his full faculties. I'm glad you owned up to this, but start eating your full share. That's an order. 
I'll do respect cap. We're up shit. I'll do respect cap. We're up shit creek. I'm not sure that's an order means a lot right now. It holds weight now more than ever, Frank. We need to stay organized. Well, I ain't doing it. So either shave that shit, shove that shit down my throat yourself, or give my leftovers to someone else. Error. Oh! Hook crew data not found. Identify your Jesus dog. Christ, I was about to shoot it. Um, if you're experiencing errors, maybe I should take you to a mechanical engineer. Error. This unit is not experiencing errors. Uh, you just said error twice. Error. This unit is functioning correctly. There is no need for the intervention of mechanical engineers. Thank you for your cooperation. Are you like the one guy left over here? All right. Oh, or did everything respawn? Interesting. Or did I just run past everything before when I saw the the terminal? Um, check logs first. Audio transcript. Two audio transcripts are 2643. Begin audio log. Is this thing working? I said begin audio. Oh, damn it. This is uh this is P Wells. Yes, let's go with that. Work continues on test subject 112, retrieved from Hibernation Bay 8. Time of extraction, oh, let's say two and a half hours ago. Time of death, six minutes prior. Explosive cell death, my arch nemesis, haunting my every attempt at reviving our frozen colonists, making a mockery of my procedures. I've tried every combination of every chemical available to me, attempted every variation of every possible thawing procedure. A gradual melt, a flash thaw, extremities first, brain first. Don't know how much more of this I can take. Four hours of sleep in the last 72. Can still hear their screaming in my nightmares. Test subject 112. Real name, Harley Stanton, age 39. Enjoyed singing. I'm sorry, Harley. I couldn't save you. Alright. Uh, begin audio log as soon as I say the words begin audio log. What a ridiculously inconvenient program. What happens if I just accidentally say the phrase audio log? Don't know why I'm talking to a frozen colonist. You're losing it, Phineas. Focus. Focus. Come on, make the incision. There we go. Excellent. Well, well, my frigid friend. You disobeyed the moratorium on ingesting food 36 hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? Thank the law for disposable gloves. Steady now. Steady. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Damn slippery scalpel. Who makes these anyway? Space choice? And I've got no choice. I'm going in. Route communication through the unreliable. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive process. I see you've located the stasis chambers. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long, Captain? The missing one, I take it? See, interestingly, Phineas did more experiments, so there should be more... Missing pods than that. Okay. Are we shoot on sight here? Nope, because we're disguised. You ought to see Quincy for your assignment. Will do. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Yeah, I think that, like, you turn in wells, and then you go to the ship here with full blessings from the board, and then you say, let's bring the ship in, and then you crash it into the sun, and that's the speedrun. Um, okay, logs. Do that first. Audio transcript 2580. Open the fucking door, Will! No, you're killing us! Better you than the colonists. This is idiotic! If we don't keep the ship afloat, they'll die anyway! A necessary risk, Resi's plotting our course. The ship will fly true. You're gambling with hundreds of thousands of people's lives. Actually, just 10,000 people's lives, but you know, whatever. 
and you're handpicking which few you'll consume in your madness. Damn it. Alexi, find me a fucking drill. Audio transcript 2582. Captain, you hear that? Hear what? The drill stopped. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe it broke. Maybe they're trying to get into cold storage. If they get through before they starve, they'll outlast us. Keep working, Resi. I'll take care of it. Cool. I think I'm the only one left. I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he hasn't come back. They haven't used the drill, and I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to my last day of food, and I don't want to die like Donna did. Fly true, Hope. Status. Power uh, auxiliary, auxiliary. Continue. Comms. Auxiliary comms are available through the docking bay. Patch Ada through. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling. Maybe you put the I pods back with the failures. True. Oh, I failed with that one. Let's put that one back. Because it doesn't say that that's 9,999 living um, people in the pods. Just number of pods. 